was wondering if that's something that you will be looking at. I know a lot of times we're told to wear sunscreen, but even though our skin is darker and more enriched with the, with the color tones and all, I find that I'm allergic to a lot of the um, sunscreen that is on the market right now and don't use it for that reason because of other problems. Um, I think the first part about uh, kind of built-in protection, because I do, a lot of black and brown people do feel like they have some built-in protection with our melanin, and that is that is true at a baseline. They say that melanin, um, kind of the deepest complexions, there's something called a Fitzpatrick scale, which is a very outdated metric, but the only one that we have that can really be used. And, and your skin tone is basically mapped on this Fitzpatrick scale, and it goes from one to six, the one being the fairest complexion, six being the deepest complexion. The, a person in the Fitzpatrick scale of six probably has some SPF protection of about 12 to 13. And we know that now everybody is recommending 50, 30 to 50 as a minimum because the sun is so strong. So what used to be some built-in protection that may have served us 100 years ago is now no longer relevant. And we do really need to be protecting our skin um, with SPF protection every day. What we are doing is we're doing a lot of testing on um, testing on the SPF, and there are two different types. There's a chemical and a physical type of um, sunscreen, and so we are actually launching one, <laughs> stay tuned, spring of 2024, um, that will be a hybrid formula um, because often the zinc oxide will create a, a white cast because what SPF is doing is it's actually creating a, a physical barrier between your skin and the sun, but that physical barrier, often because of the iteration process and how, who it was catered to, it you know, a white cast isn't an issue on fairer skin, but when you try to then apply that same product to deeper complexions, it does create that white cast. So we're doing some testing to make sure that we don't have any white cast and that the formula is um, gives enough protection for deeper complexions without irritating it and without being um, harm, like a, uh, an, ir an irritant to the skin. All right. Any other questions? So we would like to ask Carolyn, where's Carolyn? There you are. There <laughs> Carolyn, Carolyn Flickcroft is the chairman of our board, and she's, we've got a little more yes. questions for our, for our presenters. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, well, yeah, yeah. Well, thank you again, everybody, so much for coming out tonight. It was so much fun. And for our panelists, thank you, thank you. Thank you for coming out. And thank you to the Programs Committee, uh, the Rustin Museum, uh, Karen, Renette. Um, we also have Christina Alcorn, who did the interviewing with Dave, and her sister Hillary actually edited all of that. So it really does take a community. Um, Oh, and Judy, yes, I'm sorry. Yeah. And Judy, who was on the committee and also helped with the refreshments. Um, so, speaking of community, another board member, Cheryl Terrio Simon, um, would like to give a gift to all of our panelists of her book, Community is What It's All About An Ode to Lake Anne, which is where we are now, if you're new. Um, and it's assigned copies for you all. So, in just a second, I'll give those to you. And um, for everyone here, we do have some like light refreshments, so you can feel free to stay for a bit and mingle and enjoy the rest of the evening.